Hey guys, it's Kirk from Worsey Club USA. If you caught the title of the video, it's called You Inspired Us. So um, we went back and we looked and the last video we did for Worsey Club was back in August of 2018. And that video was talking about uh, adding memory to our Sonic. And we were doing that to try and run some VSTs on it, if you guys remember that. Um, so uh, let me tell you why we're inspired here late in December. Uh, we had a few folks ask us some questions via email about um, using a PC or a Mac with OAX. And uh, we went over and spent some time at Spike's place. And, and, and in his case, he wants to do some notation software. And if you've spent any time with notation software, you find it's not as easy to use as you think um, to play as accurately as required so that the notation comes out looking readable. Uh, and then uh, Chuck got in touch with us and he wanted to uh, um, use Logic running on, an, on a Mac with OAX. Um, and uh, to be honest, we have not used our Mac with OAX, though we did have a PC hooked up a while back. Anyway, so we're going to shoot a couple of videos to uh, dive into how to hook up a PC and a Mac. We're going to actually do both. Um, and we're going to use uh, Cakewalk, or you might know it as Sonar, uh, running on a PC and show you a little bit. And we're also going to do a few things with Logic. So depending on if you're a PC or a, a Windows guy or a, a Mac guy, um, We'll show you a little bit about how you can do some of that stuff. And then we got more inspired. Uh, Jeff um, from uh, Worsey, Worsey Club UK, I'm sure many of you know him. Uh, he asked some questions and suggested we take a closer look at doing some video work on OAX reverb settings and configuration. And I have to admit, I've done little to no work messing with the reverb. I mean, I've I probably have clicked on all the default settings. I haven't messed with my own. So we'll take a look at that and see how good or bad we can make it sound with reverb changes. Uh, our good friend Ross, um, he and I have worked together on and off for the past year. And many, uh, many of you will remember uh, using a Keytron uh, with OAX. And it could be any external MIDI device, quite honestly. Uh, but Keytron has some uh, unique settings on the Keytron side and combine that with uh, the way OAX MIDI works, MIDI output works, and it gets to be a little bit interesting. So we're going to take another look at that. Uh, Jerry sent us stuff just recently about a uh, external processor he's using uh, from Sea Lake called Audio Station Mini. Pretty interesting device if you look at it because it's got audio ins and outs and MIDI ins and outs and, and all those things that you would um, normally connect up uh, to your uh, computer with a USB MIDI audio interface. In our case, we use a, a device from Focusrite. And um, in the case of what Jerry's talking about, a lot of that functionality and, and a whole bunch of other stuff is built right into that device and um, we'll try and post some links here in the video uh, if we can to talk more about you know show you where you can go read more about it pretty interesting box it's uh, based on windows uh, so if you're a mac guy maybe you don't care if you're a windows user interesting device and then most folks know jeff from the uh, worsey hd project um, He's kind of excited uh, because a lot of you folks are asking questions about using external processors. And if you spent any time looking at Jeff's work, he's done a fabulous job talking about how to um, run software, in his case, on a Mac Mini uh, that's connected up to his Scala to add um, virtual sounds, modules, um, virtual effects, uh, all kinds of things. And this is the d discussion really about um, do you run all that stuff native in OAX, which you can because it's a VST host, 
versus running it on uh, an external processor. So we're going to go back and talk about some of that. I'm sure Jeff will weigh in with some comments uh, on his point of view on how all that stuff works. And speaking of that, uh, we'll, we'll fire up hop work again, uh, pipe organ stuff. Uh, and uh, we'll probably install that on uh, whatever PC I'm going to use downstairs and show you an example of, you know, playing uh, a Hopwork virtual pipe organ uh, and playing that all from the console of your OAX instrument. So um, this is just kind of a little brief intro, mainly because I forgot how to use the video editing software. So I figured I would record this, figure out how to edit a video. And then we're going to go over all these topics and shoot videos for the next week or two or three or however long it takes um, and see what, see what we end up with. So welcome your comments and your input and please ask questions because uh, that makes us think about other things or try other things and we'll see what we all learn. As always, thanks for watching.